All right, Madison, it seems as, as though the, the season's progressing. You seem to be getting stronger and stronger. I think Bochi referred to you as country strong. What, is that, what does that mean? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm out here doing my work like everybody else. Uh, I think what's helped me get through the season is just, you know, sticking with my routine, not changing anything. You know, I used to come out here and do my running every day, same as I did to start the season off. I hadn't, hadn't let off any, and just because it's late in the year, we only got three or four starts left. I'm still doing the same routine, running, working out, and all that, and I think that's what helped me stay strong. How would you judge your progress from where you are right now to really the first week of the season? I think you opened up against the Dodgers, right? That was your that was your assignment. Uh, San Diego. Actually. Oh, San Diego. I'm yeah. sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, I feel a lot better now. I made a little little adjustments in the, in the mechanics and, and how I throw and stuff, and I feel like I've got gotten a lot better this year. You know, as, you know, to start the season off, you know, pitches are. Uh, Got a lot better feel for them, and uh, command's probably getting better. So uh, I feel like we've definitely made some progress. It seemed like last year every single, th every little thing went right for the Giants, yeah. whereas this year every little thing that everything that can go wrong has gone wrong. Yeah. Is it crazy how, how much things have changed really in the course of one year? Yeah, it, re it really seems that way. I mean, you know, every guy we got out there has been hurt just about at least once this year. Uh, you know, a lot of. A lot of little things, calls, balls bouncing in other teams' favor, it seems like almost every time. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, I'm a believer in everything kind of evens out. You know, last year we had a lot of luck went our way, and this year it's just kind of the opposite. But we're still uh, we're still in there, though, so hopefully we'll make a run here. What kind of fight is left in this Giants team right now? I think a lot. I think the intensity level in the dugout has been better the past two weeks than it has all year. So I think uh, they're starting to realize that we got to – you know, we got to play as hard as we can these last few days and uh, give the Diamondbacks a run. They're playing really good this, this whole year, so, I mean, you can't really take nothing away from them, but we got to do everything we can to, to beat them. Really, when it's, it's pretty much what you're set, really your second, almost your second full year in baseball. Is it just crazy to you how quickly things can change? And, and I'm, not sure, I'm not sure if you guys thought, you know what, this year is going to be easy. We have the same pitching staff, same core of guys. But do you think about, you know what, and how hard it is to go ahead and repeat and actually yeah. for the playoffs in back-to-back -back years. Yeah, because, I mean, you know, I think for a team to win it, not not only do they have to be good and uh, mentally mentally tough, mentally focused every game, but they got to have, you know, a little bit of luck go their way too. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, that's, what, that's what's so tough about it. This year, you know, it seems like, you know, nothing's going our way, like you said. And, uh, you know, we're still in there. But it's, uh, you know, it's a repeat. You know, now I have a new respect for the teams that are able to do that. Have you adjusted to uh, living life in San Francisco during the season? Oh uh, yeah, I mean it's it's nice. I like the weather. I like the cold weather actually. Uh, you know, better. I don't mind the hot either. That's why I grew up in. But I like the like the cold a little better. I guess it's uh, you kind of feel refreshed when you go outside every day. And uh, you know, we're out there on the water. It's a beautiful mm -hmm. stadium, beautiful park, and uh, you know, city too. Yeah. What do you like to do on an off day? And have you gotten used to be really being recognized by all the, all the adoring Giants fans in San Francisco? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm kind of just trying to relax. We'll go run some errands on off days, get groceries, you know, just little stuff. We don't really, one day we went to the zoo and the theme park and, and uh, got toured around that place. It was pretty awesome. We got to hang out with all the animals and do some, uh, do some stuff that the regular people going to see it wouldn't get to do. So that's pretty cool. What's the biggest culture shock from where you from North North Carolina? Is mm -hmm. that correct? What's the yeah. biggest culture shock from from living life there and then living life here in California, Just in San Francisco? The amount of people. It's unbelievable the amount of people. I grew up in a small town, still live there. You know, two thousand people, and there's two thousand people living in my apartment. So <laughs> I mean, it's pretty crazy. What and uh, what? I'm not sure when your offseason is going to start, but what do, you have, what do you have planned for this offseason? Are you a big football fan, college, NFL? You know, I'm a big outdoorsman, so I'm, I'll be outside all day. We got horses and cows, and, you know, we like to hunt fish. So I'll be outside all day, you know, just playing around, just relaxing. So I don't really watch much TV in the offseason. Thank you very much, Madison.